This is Marshall Jones at Winthrop University and we're talking about word processing. Uh, and I want to show you tabs and leaders. Oftentimes, if you have a table of contents, what you want is you want your section name here and then you want your page number over here uh, in what would appear to be a different column. Now, sometimes what people will do is they will use the period key and use that to help guide the eye of the reader from section to page number. These periods here, they're called a leader. And what they do is they lead the eye from one side to another, helps you track it across the page. But you shouldn't use periods, you should use tabs instead. If I highlight this body of text, and if I want to tab at three and a half inches, I'm going to click in here, and we're going to set that tab. You'll notice that there's a, a little L or a little right triangle to indicate that we have a left tab. So that if I press my tab key, I'm going to go over and it's going to uh, line up at three and a half inches. Now, my periods are also lining up at three and a half inches. Um, but here's what I want you to see. If I double click on this marker, what I can do is I can highlight my tab and I can choose my leader. I can use dots, uh, I can use dashes, but we'll use dots to make it look like the periods that are being used here. And so now it looks pretty consistent. Um, however, much like uh, with paragraphs and paragraph indentions and tabs, as soon as you change the font size, um, the periods get bigger because the space isn't consistent uh, between them. It changes based on the size of the font. So if you're going to do something like this, then I would recommend that you use the tab, use the leader function, and you'll have a much more consistent document.